Hi there everyone, it's time for your weather forecast. First up, as we move through the fire season, take caution near bushfires as air quality will be reduced. And take care as smoke restric restricts visibility as well. And this will be something to be cautious about, especially if you're driving nearby. Meanwhile, the dry season continues. A shower activity was brief today across Trinidad and Tobago. However, some showers arrived with gusty winds. And earlier today, across, the, across Trinidad, Tobago and the rest of the Eastern Caribbean, there were low-level cloud patches with a light to moderate showers moving briskly across the region. Now, strong winds across the Caribbean basin will continue for the rest of the week. The increased wind speeds result from a tightened pressure gradient between the Atlantic high pressure system and a low pressure system over the northern over northern Colombia and Panama. Now, it's windiest across the southern Caribbean Sea, where a gale warning continues offshore. Now, the highest wind speeds shown here in green are offshore Venezuela, Colombia and Panama. Northeast to easterly winds reaching tropical storm strength are likely again, in particular during nighttime, tonight through Friday night. And dangerous seas can result from strong winds, so ships navigating in waters around Colombia and south of Jamaica can expect moderately high waves up to 5 meters in, in a northeast to east swell. Meanwhile, the Meteorological Service of Jamaica has upgraded to a strong wind and large wave warning, as wave heights of 3 meters or higher are expected in southern waters of Jamaica. Large vessels may find it difficult to enter and leave ports in Jamaica safely. And across the Les Antilles, meanwhile, marine warnings also exist for Gren from Grenada, St. Vincent and Barbados in the southern windwards, northwards to Puerto Rico. The Meteorological Service of Barbados has also upgraded to a small craft warning and high surf advisory. Swells higher than three meters are likely across the windwards and leewards midweek. So boaters with small craft should be cautious during the next few days. Checking to home now, today's high at Piaco was 31.2 degrees Celsius and right now it's at 29. Meanwhile, Crown Point was a cooler 29.9 degrees Celsius earlier today and this evening it's also at 29. So for tonight in Tobago, initially fair, initially fair start to the night with an increase in cloudiness and showers can be expected during the early morning. And temperature wise, you can watch for another 24 degrees Celsius at Crown Point. And for Trinidad tonight, it will also be 24 degrees Celsius and you can look for a generally fair night tonight, though with showers building after midnight. So turning to Wednesday, watch for partly cloudy to cloudy intervals with showers alongside a high at 30 degrees Celsius for Tobago. And for Trinidad, Wednesday's maximum temperature will be 31 degrees Celsius, though feeling like 35 due to extra moisture. And just beware that winds can become gusty near these said showers. So ahead to your outlook now on Thursday, partly cloudy and breezy conditions with occasional showers, especially over for Trinidad, while Thursday night will be partly cloudy with few showers over a few areas carrying into your early Friday morning. Then to Friday, we can expect these generally sunny and breezy conditions still with the likelihood of a few partly cloudy intervals and showers. And Friday night will be generally fair with the likelihood of a few early morning showers. Meanwhile, sea bathers and boaters with, with small craft should remain cautious, especially in Atlantic waters due to the combination of strong winds, large waves and the spring tide. Now, for fishing folk, expect moderate to rough seas with waves from 2 to 2.5 meters offshore and 1 to 1.5 meters in sheltered bays. High tides will be at 3.54 a.m. and 3.05 p.m. with low tides at 9.05 a.m. and 10 p.m. Now for your recap, if heading to the beach, stay safe and heed the lifeguard's warning.